is all you, none of in me You put your hands on, on my body and told me channel so in today's video we are doing another makeup tutorial and for this makeup tutorial I really wanted to do something copper I love the copper color in general just because orange is my favorite color and copper is kind of in that family so I decided to do a copper and kind of maroon smoky eye like a really really deep maroon smoky eye with a kind of like a vamp kind of like a lighter maroon lip color so I use a bunch of Makeup Geek shadows today, and I put them all in their separate Z palette. This Z palette is specifically for when I film, so I use all six of these shadows. <laughs> and this is how I created this entire look. So if you have shadows, whether they're similar to these or the same exact shadows, you will be able to recreate this entire look in itself. Now, if you want to incorporate the glitter, you can. If you don't want to incorporate the glitter, you don't have to. For the glitter, I just use a NYX face and body glitter in the shade Copper just to tie in with the copper, and I just did a halo smoky eye. So with the halo, it's kind of dark in the inner corner and dark in the outer corner, and it's a lighter color sandwich smack dab in the middle. But I did add a little pop of a lighter color in the inner corner just because I personally like to have a um, pop of color or an, an, ugh, or an inner color highlight. So, And also for the lips, I am wearing Anastasia Beverly Hills Vamp Liquid Lipstick. I went up to um, this uh, Macy's Impulse Store that we have 45 minutes away from here and I grabbed another one of their liquid lipsticks. Now my Impulse Store has nothing there so... I wasn't able to order a lot of, or I wasn't able to pick up a lot of the shades. This was the only one that, that was there that I was like, oh, maybe I'll like it. So I went ahead and did this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about it. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye. You guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my lids with my balm, put a lid on it, eyeshadow primer. Then I'm going to go in with a Makeup Geek eyeshadow, and this is Frappe. I'm taking that on a pink martini, big fluffy brush. These pink martini brushes come in a set with about five different brushes, and I've done a review on it, and I will make sure I link it down in the description box. Next, I go in with another Makeup Geek eyeshadow, and this is Cherry Cola, which is kind of very similar to Bitten, whereas it's kind of that maroon, maroon reddish color, so... I place it into my crease as another transition shade with a Sigma E35 tapered blending brush and just work that from the inner corner to the outer corner. Next, I go in with um, Americano on a Sigma E25 blending brush. This is another Makeup Geek shadow. And I start to deepen the crease with this shade. So you can make this as dark and as deep as I did or as kind of subtle as you would like so place this all the way in the inner corner and the outer corner and then go back in with the e35 with a little bit more of cherry cola on your brush just to make sure those um, edges blend together for the lid portion i went in with makeup geeks foiled eyeshadow in a flame co flame color <laughs> flame thrower on a sigma e58 cream eyeshadow brush and i just popped that right smack dab in the middle and then i went in with a elf glitter glue now nyx does have a glitter glue if you can't seem to find the elf one i found my elf one at target but if you can't find it go ahead to ulta and get the nyx one and then i went in with the nyx face and body glitter in copper i love 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 copper rose gold like all of those different types of glitters and things so i love those and then next i went in with um vanilla bean and just pop that onto underneath of my brow bone so it didn't look too muddy up there so for lashes i went in with vegas nays grand glamour lashes this is the lash that she collaborated with ilore and created so i decided to pop that on since it's full all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner and then i moved on to priming my skin and to prime my skin i use the benefit professional face primer just rub that all over my skin for foundation today i went in with my mac studio finish con or concealer foundation i went ahead to my mac and fixed it picked this up because i had the pro longwear foundation but i found the pro longwear foundation didn't give me as good of coverage as i like so i went ahead and bought this one and this one gave me the perfect coverage this was the first time i had used this foundation in um, since I had bought it so I am loving it right now and I'm in the shade NC50 and to conceal and highlight you guys already know this has been my favorite concealer lately the Ruby Kisses pure mineral um, concealer you can find it at Walmart or at your local beauty supply store they have the whole line of um, 
of Ruby Kisses at Walmart now. So if you didn't know that, now you know it. So I just go ahead and blend that all out with my beauty blender, which is soaked damp. And then I go ahead and set my under eye concealer pretty much everywhere where I applied that concealer with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I love my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. It sets my foundation really flawlessly, but if you do leave it on a little too long, you want to use a setting spray just so it doesn't have that powdery look because sometimes I find I have the powdery look. So moving right along, I am contouring with my Iman Cream to Powder Foundation in the shade Earth 6 with a Sigma F82 angled kabuki brush. And then I went in with the E39 small or precise contouring, or crease brush by Sigma as well. So to highlight, first I'm going to use a Dripping in Gold by Anastasia Beverly Hills with the uh, fan brush from BH Cosmetics. Morphe Brushes does have a really nice fan brush and I don't believe Sigma does, but if you want a really affordable fan, fan brush, BH Cosmetics is the way to go. I mean, of course, Morphe, but whatever. Whichever one you want. And then I go in with Sigma's Blush in Heavenly. I like to apply my highlight first and then I go in with my blush second with a dual fiber brush. So it kind of does a two-in-one where it applies the blush and blends out the highlighter. So next I go in with this Prestige Cosmetics Eye Cold Pencil in black and I just put this into my waterline because I'm going to start smoking out the lower lash line and I love Prestige Cosmetics. This is my favorite like waterline eye pencil there is <laughs> hands down and it's inexpensive from Ulta. So next I go in with the smudge brush from um, Sigma and I use Americano first and then I go in with Cherry Cola on a Sigma E30 pencil brush and smoke out the lower lash line with Cherry Cola if I didn't already mention that. <laughs> For my lips I am using Raisin which is a um, NYX Cosmetics lip liner first and I'm just going to outline the lips just because I'm using a darker shade though the lip stain or lip with lipstick that I'm going in with next applies it very thoroughly. I just like to line it even though, you know, just for shits and giggles. So for the liquid lipstick, I am using Anastasia Beverly Hills Vamp, which isn't really as maroon as I would like it to. I should have gotten the other one that I wanted, but yeah, whatever. But it ended up tying all in with my shirt and with the copper. So after that, I applied Shimmer Shimmer in the inner corner just to add a little pop of something because I didn't want it to be too dark. And then that completes my look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I love you all, and I would definitely see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye.